This is a tutorial on running the ReactsFF program using the ADF graphical user interface. So we start by opening ReactsFF input and here we're going to use the builder in order to build a uh, box containing multiple molecules which are going to react with each other. Now we're going to make a nice flammable mixture here of methane and oxygen. All of these molecules are in the database, although you can, if one isn't in the database, you, of course you can create one yourself. And we generate this box of the size that we decided. Now we're gonna raise the temperature here, way above room temperature, because it won't auto-ignite at room temperature, and we want this reaction to go quickly. We choose our force field, and we select molecular dynamics. Now we're ready to burn this stuff. We have to give our calculation a name, of course, and we send it on its way. Now you can view the log file of the calculation to ensure that it is running. Yes, it is. And we can use ADF Movie to actually get a graphical representation of the reactants and the products as they're being formed and as they're moving around. And here's the first few snapshots of the simulation and it updates in real time as the calculation's going. It's going to take a while so we'll step away for a few minutes here. And we're back. And now let's take a look at some of the results here. You can see the temperature of the reaction as it goes. Of course, it stabilizes at the temperature we selected eventually. It starts off in a rather bad geometry. And there's the potential energy on the same graph. Of course, the reaction's exothermic. And on a separate graph here, I'm going to show you the molecular fractions as this reaction takes place. Of course we start out with methane and oxygen and I'm going to add both of those to the graph here. And we'll find oxygen on the list. There it is. And as expected the concentrations of both of those go down as a function of time. Now we're going to find the products of this reaction. Of course, we're burning a hydrocarbon. We're going to get carbon dioxide. And we're also going to get water. And the concentration of both of those go up as time progresses. There both of those are. There's also another product slash intermediate here, which is well known in combustion reactions, which is carbon monoxide. I'll put that up as well. And that concentration also starts out at zero and goes up, although it doesn't uh, continue to go up as water and CO2 goes, because CO, of course, burns itself. And if we click any place on the graph, or on any graph here, we can see the molecules that, we're look that we want highlighted. There's water. There's methane carbon dioxide forming slowly and carbon monoxide a few of those as well. All right. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.